What's up, YouTube? This is William Wade. And uh, I want to say, man, quit showing up to work. I know that sounds crazy. Be like, man, I got to work. I got to work. But quit showing up to work. As you in this entrepreneurial journey, it's one day that you're going to have to quit showing up to work. Not saying that you're not working. Because you really outwork the people that work for you or work with you. But you quit showing up to the building to work. You quit showing up to whatever it is, the job site, the, 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 uh, the, the, the if you're doing real estate uh, or whatever. You quit showing up to work. You show up to manage. You show up to inspire. You show up to catch them doing good. You show up to say, hey, man, you know what? In my field, I say, you show up, man. You know what? You show been doing this hot dusting, man. Look, I mean, this hot dusting is good. Man, it's great. You might want to get that there, but man, you're doing good up here. But I do see that right there. You show to inspire. You don't always show up to, man, you're missing this, you're missing that, you're doing this, you're missing. No, you show up to inspire and keep them going because that's the life of the business. Cash flow is the bloodline of the business. And the life of the business is the people. You can't have business without workers and, 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 and clients. Like, like, like you, you got to have, you got to have workers and clients. So my thing is, quit showing up to work. Show up to, to, to inspire. Show up, and, and inside of showing up to inspire, dress different when you show up. As long as you're showing up to work with the with the with your clothes on, you're gonna be doing some work. But what I found out is that when I showed up different, my guys don't even want me to do nothing. Like, oh wait, oh wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got this, I got this, I got this for you, I got this. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so it's about midday. And uh, in my back right there, I got an Instapot. Fatherhood and, 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 and entrepreneurial stuff, you know. Uh, but I got that because I'm taking it back. And um, I want to get a better Instapot. So I'm taking that one back. So that's why that's in the back seat. It's, not, it's, it's cleaning equipment back there too. That's why it's, it's, it's sitting like that. Look for them doing the right thing. Don't look for them saying, ah, oh, man, I'm going to catch a messing up. I know I'm going in here to... Oh, you go in here, you know you're gonna find something because you're the boss. There's nobody gonna do the business the way you do it. You don't have to micromanage, and you know you're gonna find something when you show up. But what you're looking for is you, 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 you're not going in search to find something because you already know that. You're going to look for the good things that people have and the good qualities that they exhibit. You might go talk to some of the customers. If it's a daytime accountant, people are there. Talk to the customers. I'm like, oh, yeah, he's real respectful. He talks. Sometimes I've had people that walk in buildings that don't talk to the people and they don't like it. They want you to be uh, personable. And so if you find somebody that's personable and they say, oh, yeah, he's really polite. He, he, he don't mind doing some things we ask. You listen to talk to the people and you and congratulate them on that. Oh, you know, I heard that you were doing good things over here. I heard that you, you know, you don't mind stepping up and doing the extra thing that they ask and you don't make it a problem. You show up for that reason, to build them up. A lot of times people just want to know that they appreciate it. And you could offer an extra $2 on a check or extra $50 during Christmas. But a lot of times people just want to know that their work is appreciated. You, you, you'll be surprised at how much gratitude that the workers have for you when you walk in and say, hey, man, I appreciate what you do. I couldn't do this without you. Like, like I want to do this grand thing. And I know that you, you, you feel like you're this small piece of it, but I couldn't make it to this if it wasn't for you. Those are the things you show up for. You change your mindset on what type of work did you do it. I like to empower and motivate and encourage people. Now, me building a, 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 a cleaning, a commercial cleaning business or a cleaning company, that was to help people. It actually was to get me some, some, some passive income going so I could focus on something else. But inside of that, I found that I can offer jobs. I have a mentality that I can show people the way I think, you know, being able to help other people and not just be worried about my family, being able to help other people. Family. I have a whole family working for me right now. Kids, mama, and a hoe. You know what I'm saying? And so I made an opportunity for her whole family to start making. It's just amazing, man. It's an amazing thing just to have that power, that opportunity to, to provide other opportunities for other people. Now, when I say that, they grateful for the job. Let them do the work. Now, you want to show them that you're grateful for them. You figure out the love language. 
even though you have five different love languages and it, 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 and it works into the workplace. Some people want affirmation. Some people want you to do acts of service. Some people that you're working with want you to come in there and work. That's fine. You show up on a day to inspect, catch them doing good. Hey, boom, boom, boom. I see what you're doing. You go out and help them. 30 minutes, 45 minutes, you go in there and help them because, you know, that's what they like because you study your workers because you want to keep them incentivized. Some people just want you to let them know that they're doing a good job. Respect their schedule. Hey, something came up. Did you have something planned? Instead of saying, hey, this came up, I need you to do this. Oh, did you have something planned for this day? Oh, you didn't? Okay, well, this came up. Boom. That change makes somebody feel special because you put their needs before yours. Some people would like you to throw that extra $25 uh, uh, on that check, $45 on that check, extra $50 if you got it. You know what I'm saying? Some people want that. And then you have some people that that that, that just want you to spend time with them. Like, take them out. Spend sit down for a lunch with them. Let them know that they value you. Sit down and, 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 and include them. Depends on where they are. Include them in on the plan. Let them know what you plan on doing, whatever, how far you came. Even if they not on a high tier level, some people still just want you to go out and take them out for a meal and just let them know, hey, this is what I plan on doing. So even if they at the bottom, and I don't mean bottom is that better. I mean, like if, if we have a hierarchy, you up here and they're not on the bottom. That's what I mean by bottom. But if, even if they feel like they at the bottom, you let them know how much you couldn't get up here without them right there. And I said, I said gifts. I said acts of service. I said uh, uh, spending time, affirmation, and there's one more. Touch it. I think that's affection. You know, go up and rub your hand on the shoulder. Man, hey, man, I appreciate you doing a good job. And pat on the back. Oh, you got to be leery because some people don't like you touching them. But some people do. That, 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 that touch makes you, that, that, that's that connection. Hey, how you doing? Give them a hug, man. I'm proud of you. I thank you for what you're doing in the company. Give them a hug and embrace them. Sometimes you might know that your, your employees or your workers going through something and you could just go and just give them a nice tight holding hug. Going through it. I, I know your son is going through such and such and you might not have enough right here. I see what I can do if I can throw a little bit here. And you just hold them. You know what I'm saying? And just let them know you, you understand. <laughs> that means a lot, man. Quit showing up to work, man. Quit showing up to work. Show up to, to inspire, motivate, and to uplift and to infuse the workers or the employees with the journey or the vision. You would be surprised at how much more people will work for you or with you when they feel like they are part of the vision. Like they feel like they are part of it. Oh, so if I go clean this building right here, you can go over there and do that? And then you could come back and help me over here? Oh yeah, so I'm gonna make sure I hold it down because I need you to focus over there. That's rare. But when you find that person, that's when you move them up. Hi, I'm done with that, man. Quit showing up to work, man. My name is William Wade and I say wishing ain't doing enough. If you like the content that I put up, hit the subscribe button. There's a bell to be notified every time I put a video up. You can share if you think there's someone else would like to hear it. I love to say throw positive vibes up in the atmosphere for those that don't want to hit that like button and those that want to comment and just, just don't want to share. Just throw something positive, man. Hey, dude, I hope he, you know, I hope whatever. I hope he's...